we are proud of the party experience. Uh, this is a party which has offered the, the best leadership for the people. And it's not me actually who is defined. You go and ask any Chinese in the streets and they will tell you that how much they are happy about the, the performance of the government. It's quite important. Uh, I'm sure that the party will continue facing all the challenges. So I came here in 1986 actually and I spent a good time here to study the Chinese model. Okay. Uh, but of course China uh, by then was not the China of today. So uh, I had seen how the progress had happened within China and when I came here I visited a number of places in, and then we went into the countryside which was very impressive for me actually to see the agriculture and the peasants and all you know the what's going on inside China because that was the real challenge I mean for China actually to produce as much as a big population by that time. I mean there was very hard work by them you know to establish China, which is very well united, uh, is capable to move forward. Uh, that was a very ambitious, uh, you know, um, challenge. Now we can see the fruits of those tough periods of time. You know. uh, the industrialization, the, the education, the new technologies. I mean, all these came in the last 30 years. This story of China is a miraculous one by every sense. There is nothing like that happened. I mean, China, which was a very old civilization, had gone into many difficulties in the past, you know. And, but this one, the, the rebirth of China, which is this strong, this capable, this assertive, this united, is uh, something that did not happen. And if it was not actually for the Communist Party and the strong leadership, uh, I don't think that these uh, miraculous uh, achievements could not really be realized. I mean, the, the determination, the patience, the hard work, it did not come as a gift. It did not come as, you know, good luck. No, no, no. I mean, what happened in this country is really uh, very, very important for the whole humankind to understand and to comprehend.